How's it going, folks? I hope you're all doing well. Keith here from Commando Hoop Celtic. New look, new hair, throwback Neil Lennon 2000. They eat your heart out. So, um, I will be pausing a lot during the video because I'm a bit of a sore throat, so don't mind me anyway. So, transfer deadline day, we finally got a left back. Um, Diego Laxal from AC Milan. Long move, typical, just a typical long move. Penny pinch a meal from Lawwell and Celtic, but do you know what? This guy is good quality. It's gonna be a good meal for Celtic. Potential chance to get him nine million at the end of the season. What he has different to other players that we have scouted and that hasn't really worked out is he has pace, really good pace. He's a Uruguayan international. He represented his country twenty five times. He played in the twenty eighteen World Cup. So and plus he's had to be at a big club like AC Milan as well. His experience of playing for Genoa as well, Bologna, and he spent last season at Torino alone as well. So, like this guy was a value originally at 18 million. AC Milan paid 18 million two years ago from so he has experience. He he was signed by Inter Milan back in 2013. Never broke into the senior team. Went on loan a few to a few teams like Eppoli, Genoa, Bologna, as I said. Made the trade in Serie A. And now we've re recruited him to the squad. Look at, he's a left back, he's a left wing back. Still their style of football. It's just what we're looking for. So, um, look, I'm not going to say too many great things about him because every time I talk about a player too much, I always make them out to look like Roberto Carlos. So, look, I trust the board in this one. It's going to be good. We need the pace. We need Greg Taylor put onto that bench for a couple of games. We need a fresh face in there, fresh ideas. Him a fring pong on both wings would be very effective especially with the next game we have in our sights as we all know what it is so yeah it's been a decent window i have to say i'm very impressed with the window getting shane duffy in was a, a massive sign and i know it's only a long mill and then all the co altogether it costs us two million and then get having a yeti from west ham he's worked out quite well as you've seen he's been scored and he has what five goals for celtic and then um david turnbull coming in as well he's going to still take time to gel into the squad Look at he knows the league inside out. He's still taking him time. Look at that midfield is tough. It's a tough midfield. The depth in the midfield we have, as we all know, Callum, Bruni, Nachan, Rodic, you know, Turnbull in there as well. So a lot of good midfielders. Sorrow as well. So looking forward to it. Then Mohamed and Nusi coming back on loan from Southampton as well was the start of the window. Then we have... Um, we have Barcast as well that we got from AEK. Yeah. And look, it has been massive disappointments in the window. I'm not getting Fraser Foster back from Southampton was a disappointment. A lot of people are going to say F this and F that about Fraser. Look, at, he wanted to go back to Southampton. Southampton are doing good as a club in the Premier League. I understand, you know, I understand where he's coming from. I don't think he was willing to take the pay cut as well. So leaving to what I wish him the very best. There's a lot of players that have got that left this summer. The likes of Johnny Hayes, Similovic. You know, Ibuwe, Kowasi, these have all gone. And then players on loan like Shaved, Jack Hendry, um, I'm trying to think of who else has gone on loan. Boyo is gone on loan. So there's been a, good, a couple of players. Ben Ewan is gone. He's gone from the club. Jack um, Atchison, I wish him the very best as well, down in Barnsley. That day was complete today as well. So overall, decent window. There was talks of Robert Snodgrass coming up, but look, he's 23 years of age I don't think he would have offered a lot for Celtic you know like using a platform to get first team football typical typical you know it's just people might say the same about Duffy but Duffy is a Celtic man true and true he wants to win 10 in a row I know Snodgrass is a Celtic fan as well but it's just it's a different scenario with him you know we needed a centre back more than a, a winger so yeah it's been a decent window you can't complain almost 15 million spent in the window and still Celtic fans will say, oh, we should have got this, we should have got that. Look at Ryan Sessegnon went to Hoffenheim. We messed up on that deal, you know. That was one gone. Ivan Tony never happened for us. That was a scouting for ages and ages. Never happened. Omar Colley, never happened. Look, at, it was all talk, no action. We were looking at players in um, Turkey, never happened. But the most important thing is, balangoli has gone. He's gone alone as much as we all wanted him gone permanently. He went alone. That gets the negativity out of the squad. It's, is it the team that can do 10 in a row? 
is there enough players there, enough winners? Yes, there is. Fair enough. We are scraping results, some games, and it's not satisfying for some Celtic fans. They always have to have a moan about it. But look it, we've gone nine games unbeaten since Fernand Varos. We're sitting second in the league with a game in hand. We're playing our closest rivals in a couple of weeks' time. We should have a squad there to compete against them. People, people are worried about them because they think that they're playing better. But at the end of the day, you don't want to look at who else is playing better. It's about what we have in the field. It's about what our team can produce and get results. And they're producing. They look at unbeaten in the league, but in the Europa League, as much as we want to be in the Champions League, I've talked about this loads of times, Celtic and our Champions League team, we're, st- we're, try- we're demonstrating a new formation which we tried out the back ends of last season. And it's been effective. It's been working. It's just, it's frustrating for Celtic fans to realise that these teams that are below us, these teams that are playing in Celtic Park are playing in the home stadiums, they're going to do the plan like every other team is going to do. They're going to park that bus and that bus is going to be parked. But we have players and approved it yesterday. Most important thing about this window is keeping the likes of Edward and keeping Oyer. As I said previous, keeping these two, we're going to see a new Otson Edward when he comes back from the international break. He didn't seem like he was he was pleased yesterday. A lot of people said it in the comments below. They're like, he didn't really care. He didn't really want to be there. But his head is all over the place. I understand where he's where he's, yeah, he's at the situation. You know, like there's some good clubs that could go in and snap him and offer him Dublin the salary. But he has a mission with Celtic. 10 in a row is the option. So he has to do it. And we're backing him. We're backing him. And Oyer, as much as he threw his... Um, Toys out of pram a month and a half ago. He's still here. The champ is still here. So once we can keep them players until the windows close, look at this is the pre recorded. So things might change in the next few hours. Just comment below if things have changed. But I'm pretty optimistic where our squad is good enough to do it. And we might compete as well in the Scottish Cup as well and get that. So let's see. Let us know what you think of the new signing, Diego. I think he'd be a good addition to the squad. I watched. He's good and he's bad moments on YouTube. And I have to say, very skillful, very versatile, pace. So what we need, we need pace. And we need someone that can actually, that can take on players. That's not afraid to, to take on players and think of like, oh, let's stop. Try to get across in, gets blocked, get a throw in, and start A to B football again. No, we need someone that wants to play for the short. And Taylor does sometimes want to play for the short, but he's not number one choice for me, like a lot of fans. So... That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't mind the hair, as I said. It's something, it's something different. So I'll speak to you all soon. Happy Monday and all the best sales. Hell, hell.